Okay, had a MX fifteen hundred A come in, and one of the things I noticed is the capacitors. One was blown, obviously, but the other seven just had a tiny, a tiny dot in the top. Where pressure has come out of the uh, of the cap, so I went ahead and I replaced all eight of those. These are all new, and then I went across the back panel of all these uh, parts mounted on the heatsink and checked them all for shorts. And I found two that were shorted, the D501, which is right here, and the Q503 had dead shorts. So I replaced those two. Uh, didn't find any other shorts, uh, and all four of these fuses were blown. And these, the four fuses on this side were not blown. So that obviously tells me that the shorted parts are going to be on this side of the circuit board. And then I checked the bias, which is you measure the voltage across R501 and R502, and you should have. 85 millivolts and then the trim pots if you need to adjust the trim pots the odd trim pot adjust the odd resistor which is trim pot 503 does the adjustment for R501 and trim pot 502 does the adjustment for R502 and once you get those to 85 volts, power it up, and it works just perfect. One of the harder things about this amp is getting it out with these mounting screws. You have to turn them a quarter turn to the left and then get everything to pop up. And sometimes it's a pain in the ass. But other than that, not a bad amp.